So we go from here, we go from Christianity to Islam. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, mind you, I have been a Christian. Mind you, I also have been a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This person come on social media and will tell you because she's upset. I will kill you. For what? You've never heard me. You never heard the suggestion of me wanting to bring harm to nobody. I never talked about, oh, I hope that so-and-so died. I hope that you get hit by a truck. I never did none of those different things. We defended ourselves, said what we have to say, and we're gone. Never wish malice, bad luck on nobody. But this person, I'm glad you got cancer. And when you die, I'm going to find your grave, spit on your grave, and we're going to dance on your grave. Some very hateful, nasty things. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Sister Ann said, one of them even said, they are praying you die soon. Well, this follower of Elijah Muhammad been praying for me to die since 2014, 2013. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So she is representing the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I have read many books and listened to many tapes by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I was introduced to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad when I was about seven or eight years old. I have all the books, a lot of the lessons from Elijah Muhammad. I never heard him talk like that. And I'm very sure, even in his, in his lifetime, there were those who talked bad about Elijah Muhammad and some of the followers, some of the followers got upset and they went out and committed murder. But Elijah Muhammad never said nothing bad about those people. Elijah Muhammad said, flee and take refuge in Allah. Follow me so I can take us to heaven at once. Now, I know that Malcolm X called our people, some of our people, Uncle Toms and house niggas and sambos and stuff like that. Malcolm X did. But correct me if I'm wrong. But to my knowledge, Elijah Muhammad himself, I never read where he called our people 
Coons and Sambos and Uncle Tom House niggas and stuff like that. I never heard him wish death. Now, the only thing he did, like most religious people would do, they would tell us of our punishment if we disobey God. He did do that. There's a hell, there's a punishment for us, consequences of our actions. He did do that. I never heard Elijah Muhammad teach and say, I hope Dr. King die that, at Coon. I hope Dr. King die and I'll go there, send one of my followers to spit on his grave. I never heard that type of talk from Elijah Muhammad. Again, we can go back and we can find little things flaws and errors in people and, and the teachings. But on the surface, but on the surface, that's not Nation of Islam teachings. Nation of Islam teaching is about love and unity for the black man and woman in America. Learning how to do for yourself accept yourself that's what the teachings is about i didn't hear all this kind of hate from elijah muhammad now the the different ministers had their styles and they would they would like malcolm x but elijah muhammad i don't remember those things in his writings or coming out of his mouth. Elijah Muhammad taught that Master Farah Muhammad, because of his love, because of his love for the Negro in this country, was willing to walk up a mountain 40 miles high just to save one of us. That's the teachings of Elijah Muhammad. Just one. I don't remember Elijah Muhammad going berserk and angry because people rejected his message. But these do. If you don't believe in Jesus, you don't believe in Allah, Elijah Muhammad, they go ballistic, they go crazy. That's not the teaching. She is not a representative of Elijah Muhammad. She would call me a liar. This woman lived right next door to a sister that was a single mother, just like she was. And this woman, a follower of Elijah Muhammad, this woman did not like her because this lady kept parking putting her car on the street, on a public street where she think her car should be. And she didn't like her. But she's a sister. She's a lost file. She's your sister. She had real hate. And of course, she would call me a liar. And of course, I did offer, and I still will offer, for these people to take lie detector tests. I have no reason to lie about anything. I would be happy to take a lie detector test. You set it up, I'll be happy to go. I have no reason to lie about anything. She did not like that woman. You are a, you are a follower of Elijah Muhammad and you go to the liquor store and you smoke weed and you justify it. I did not read nowhere where Elijah Muhammad asked his followers to smoke weed and do drugs or whatever. And you know, she used the same thing that most people do about weed when it comes from the earth. Cyanide comes from the earth. That's poison. Arsenic comes from the earth. That's poison. This computer comes from the earth. Are you going to try to eat it? Everything that we got comes from
from the earth. Everything is not meant to eat. Everything is not meant for us to consume. But see, she's really part of this world. So this person that claims to be a believer in Jesus and this other person claiming to be a believer in the honorable Elijah Muhammad, they are not proper representatives because they have demons. They, got, they have personal sickness they don't want to deal with. And they bring that and make Christianity look bad and they make the teachers of Elijah Muhammad look bad. They give religion a bad look. So if the if the reality is temple on earth is not about beefing, going back and forth and calling people names and blah, blah, blah. If I am the representative of the of this ministry, I cannot do that. And I cannot give my approval of anybody that say they are part of this platform that do that. That's not what we are about. We defended ourselves. We said what we had to say. And this is a new year. And this new year will not be tainted. Nor will we bring the poison on board this train going into this new year. And now it is June. And we're doing very well. I feel so peaceful living the kind of life that they live is stressful. They live a miserable life. Worried about, I wonder what so-and-so said about me today. I wonder what so-and-so, what name they call me, what they gonna do. That's a stressful, miserable life. They don't even teach their teaching. So the topic that we chose today was believers in God turning their faith into a reality show. Now, now the channel has turned into a reality show. If we continue doing the bull that we was doing last year, the reality's temple would not be the reality's temple on earth. We would just be a reality show. And all these other people that feed on poison and negativity, we would have 300, 400, 600, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 views. Because we live in, we are living in those, we are living among a people that's sick and they don't want to deal with their own personal sickness. How would you want, who would want to be attracted to that? A true believer in Christ will come to, to people and say, stop that. Don't do that. That's not Christ-like. A follower of Elijah Muhammad would tell her, you can't talk that way. That's not the messenger's teaching. But we have so many of us, we are like hogs at a trough, wallowing in the mud and filth. They are not proper representatives of the belief system. And those who truly hate religion, they can use them. Well, look, look at that one. Look at that one over there. Talk about she followed Elijah Muhammad. See, we could do that, but I know that these don't represent 